We have a man of many talents. Oh my god, that tastes so good. <laughs> what kind is it? What is it? I don't know, but it's so good. Speaking of so good, we have Click and Rush. Who are both so <laughs> good. Are both so good. Dude, our segues are on point today. Dude, and nowhere close to how good that brother is. <laughs> Rush may be number one on the PR, but he is nowhere close to how good that bread is. Yo, you if, gotta Rush, if Rush's cloud was as good as how that bread tastes in my mouth right now, oh my god. Yo. It'd be unfair. Oh. Okay. Okay. Enough about me. Enough about this. We're gonna go into video Rush games. versus Click. Yes, video games. So Rush and Click both registered for Point Pounders. Look, Look at that. that. Look at that. But we're gonna go into the match as soon as we switch scenes. There we oh, go. It was like TP and I were on like this telepathic wavelength. Wavelength, dude. It comes with no the same wavelength. Man, so what's your? I know Cloud wins like most matchups, but like when you have a disjoint like Forms does as well, that kind of links a lot of moves link into each other. Like you have Mart's melee fair. How do you feel about this matchup? What do you think? I honestly think that Cloud definitely still wins, but only because there's significantly more knockback, and it's gonna force Corn uh, to play way more off stage. Yeah. Yes, yeah, if if Corn uh, can manage to land like a fair, he can get a really nice string on, especially with Cloud's weight, I believe. Yeah, and like the the way that Corn's uh, aerials knock, uh, like for the exception of back air, they all knock Cloud up. Yeah. Right, so that's why he has that melee mark there. Yeah, but then also moves that can combo into it. Wow, great read. Whereas like Rush is just more concerned about trying to uh, land any aerial and then get him off stage. Yep. Yeah. Charge that limit. Oh, I guess down down air doesn't uh, send him up, but oh, that's true. at the very end. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, that read, that failed read will cost Landing him. Bear. Bear is a strong move on Cloud. Oh, wow. That was, that maybe not was the best, that wasn't the best DI, but. No, I don't think so. But I mean, I'm pretty sure Korn's uh, up air is like three patch Diddy up air. It's really strong. Oh yeah, it's, it's definitely a very good move. A uh, really great momentum right here from Rush. So MK Leo of the camp that believes uh, non-limit cross slash is the best cloud move in the game. Non-limit cross slash? Yes. Why? It's like it's one of the most underrated and best game moves in the game. Can't you FDI out of it really easy? Uh, you can jump out of the third, or like between the third and fourth, but I've done it. Yeah. I think he uses it as like an edge guard tool. Like he'll use it while he's off stage, and it knock it, it either knocks you a little down and away. I have to double check. I don't play cloud. I just know. That when MK Leo uses it off stage, it's stupid. But Rush, showing why he's number one. Yep. I'm really, actually, I'm really excited to see how Australia does against Rush. Really? I want to set up a crew battle. Well, we know that Hawaii, in all of our Smash games, compared to the mainland and other places, tend to be not as good. Yes, this is true. Yeah. So but, I don't know about Australia. Well, though. see, that's the thing is Australia is another isolated region yep. that has its own meta. They don't have clouds. Really? They just do. I mean, you look at their. I mean, they have maybe one or two on their PR, but their PR goes to 20, and they only have one or two. Like, they have a brawler uh, and a Polutena main on their top 20, and it's kind of silly. That's a little silly. Kind of like how silly it is that Rush has not taken any damage. Mm, my goodness, that, uh, that. That segue on point once again, dude. I'm I'm all over this. On point, much like Just the tip that Corn <laughs> might need to get back into this game. And he's got his number, no matter what he tries to do. Yeah, so Clouds talking about like the similar kits. Uh, Clouds dash tag, you just get so much more off of it. And oh my god! So I clipped that. That was I was ready. I was ready to be like classic Lilac Jank, and then classic Lilac Jank. Janked out the classic Lilat jank. That's good. It was a double Lilat jankage. Lilat is such a good stage. I hate, no, okay. And I don't say that just because I'm a Pikachu main. I genuinely love Lilat just because it's so... Like, you don't know what's going to happen, man. It's a 2v1 on someone's favor, and you don't know who it is when you go there. You're like, it could, it could be 2v1 versus me, it could be 2v1 versus them. Yeah. I got to take that risk. And I've won many games from Lilat janking out my opponent. Absolutely. And I've also lost a couple. 
Absolutely. But that's that's just how it goes. You know, in all things considered, um, how Click was doing at the beginning there, he got a nice amount of percent on Rush before that stock. So he could still definitely bring this back, especially with what he's doing right now. See, like, that's that's the thing about, like, Corrin's aerials kept on popping Cloud up. Yep. And you can just double Ooh. jump out of it. There you go. Landing counter. It's, it's, look at that. Oh, man. Look at that. It avoids damage. It's so good. Oh, the oh. bite. Chomp, chomp, man. Day after Thanksgiving. Where are those leftovers at? Yo, Thanksgiving leftovers, OD. OD as, or OP? As o OD, as, as uh, D1 would say. That's a Boston, or like a East Coast thing. What does that mean, overdose? Like overdose. Man, but it's, it I, I already finished is, off all the broccoli, man. Yeah, it's, it's basically OP, but mm. it can also have a negative connotation. Very smart play from Rush. But good stuff from Rush. Oh no handshake. Awesome. No handshake? No handshake. 2 0 and no handshake. That's okay. This music always makes me want to play Final Fantasy VII again. Speaking of, I could not.